All right, guys, well, you can't see much right now. That light there, that's my headlamp, but uh, we're out here super, super early. It's like six o'clock right now, something like that, I don't know. Might even be before then. Uh, first light, I think, is at six o'clock, so it might be a little bit even earlier than that. But anyways, we're out here in the kayak, pedaling out in pretty much darkness. I'm out here with my buddy Ensei, who uh, you might see me towing later in the day. He forgot his uh, seat. And if you remember any of my videos, I did that a little while back. It's definitely not comfortable. Don't recommend it. So I'm gonna set up my cameras and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we made it out. I mean, there's already a, quite a bit of chop on the water, which is why we came out so early this morning. So we're hoping to get some fish really early and kind of get out of here before this wind really kicks up. Um, but we're trolling now. I got a frozen herring on here. I'll show you the setup later. I just wanted to kind of get it in the water quick so I can maximize my fishing time. And uh, yeah, we got everything set up here. Hopefully we can find us a halibut. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think that was a bite. Dang. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, definitely a bite. Man, how did he miss it? Dang it. Maybe I should have let him take it a little bit more. That was a bite. That's a bite. That's a bite. Come on. Okay, I got him. Oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's got some weight to it. Where is spot? Oh, yeah. There's some weight on that fish. This is definitely gonna require the gaff. Oh, oh, I can see it on the fish finder too. Oh yeah. This is a good fish. I'm kind of worried though. It hasn't really done anything yet. These halibut are super strong fish, so they could go on a big run at any moment. Oh, there's that head shake. Oh, it's a good one. Not huge, but probably like a 28 to 30 incher, I guess. All right. Get the gaff here. Oh, I don't, oh man, I barely have. Oh, how has this not come off? I can see the treble, the back treble right on the edge of the the lip. So no room for error here. Oh man. There we go. Oh, perfect gaff job. Look at that. Can you guys see that? The hook is right barely on there. Skin hook. Okay. Let's get him on the stringer here. I don't know how that didn't come off. Okay. As soon as you take this gaff out, they, uh, it's like they finally realize that something is up. So that's what you gotta really make sure you have them tied down good like we do. I'm still amazed that this hook did not come out. Yeah, look at that. That came out so easily. First, oh, there it goes. First fish of the day. I'd say it's a probably a solid 30 incher. I'd give it 30. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad here. We'll go to a quick measure. Then I want to get my line back in so we can hopefully get some more fish before this wind picks up. Right now, it's actually really nice. Um, it's calmed down a little bit since we first launched. 
Um, let's see. Mouth closed. It's really trying to squirm out of here. 30 and a half. Almost 31. It's about 30 and 30 and three quarters. Just over 30. That's actually my biggest halibut of the year. One of my goals for the kayak is to catch a, a 40 incher. So let's get our line back in and see if we can go for that one. So here's what I'm using this morning. It's this frozen herring, um, which I castinated during the herring spawn. I think it was this year, maybe that was end of last year, I don't know. Anyways, during the herring spawn we casted them because they all come in close to shore. Um, the females come in to drop their eggs onto the seaweed, which is attached to the rocks. And then the males right behind them to try and fertilize, fertilize those eggs. Um, so that's a perfect time for shore anglers to come in with their cast nets and scoop up a bunch of bait for the rest of the season. Um, but anyways, I just attached it to a little trap rig right here. One hook in the front, one hook in the back. And that's, you know, that's pretty simple. Give it a little bend there so that it spins when you're trolling through the water. Right now, you can troll any, and literally any speed from like zero to probably four miles an hour, probably be mad. I don't know if maybe even three is pretty fast. So, anyway, zero to three is probably what I'd recommend. But this morning, I was uh, trolling at about maybe 1.8, something like that. It also depends on the tide because when you're moving with the tide, obviously, you're going to have to go faster. And then when you're going against the tide, you won't have to go as fast. Um, so, it all depends on the situation. But Anyways, you just troll that, find the speed that's working, and then uh, obviously the halibut come bite. I caught, I had one bite before that, probably a different fish, but I, I circled back around to a similar area. I mean, it wasn't maybe like a couple hundred feet away from the first bite, and that's when I got that, that fish. So um, they definitely swim in groups, not necessarily schools like a striper or salmon, something like that, um, but they definitely swim in groups. So. Um, I'm going to head right back around and go back to that same spot again, uh, see if there's any more there. Speed up. You want me to slow down? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's called dire fishing towing service. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bit. Oh, still there? Yep. hitting it. I think it's a small one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, I think it's, yeah. Oh, geez, really small. <laughs> Ouch. All right little guy hopefully for uh, next next year all right guys well, a little update here it's been about well it's 10 15 now actually I was fr expecting the wind to be really bad by now I thought we we're probably gonna have to head in around 9 but I mean the weatherman was luckily wrong this in this case and we've had pretty really nice conditions all the way up until now I can see the wind picking up a little bit right now but it's still still really nice um, we had a couple bites early in the morning one really nice fish and then uh, one little shaker and one missed bite it's been a little slow since then the tides really ripping right now which make things really tough I'm hoping when the tide turns around noon um, well I mean probably be done by then but maybe as the tide kind of slows down a little bit as we head towards noon maybe we can pick up another fish or two can they eat that Hmm. Yeah, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Nice. Nice 
Yeah, this is a good one. A big one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. I think this is bigger than my first one. All right guys, it's been a little while since my last fish, but I think we found another good one here. Double. Just kidding, no double up the trash bag. <laughs> All right, well, this is definitely not a trash bag right here. Oh, no, no, no. Dang, this is a good one right here. No, it's okay. Oh, no, no. Got him. Big 30. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Hey, he swallowed that. I can't even see the hook. Uh, this one, like, swallowed the bait. I can't even see, barely see the hook there. 31 and a half. Maybe 31 on the dot. Oh man, I think he was hungry for some herring. Oh, there's number two. Now we gotta get one more. Here's my uh, trash that I collected. All right, we're gonna get it back in. Let's get one more. Oh, I think I hooked him again. I did. Oops. All right, two down, one to go. All right, guys. Looking for the third and final one now. This is the hardest one to get. Oh, there we go. So it's, oh yeah. Fish on. This is the limit fish right here. If I can not lose him. Let me slow down a bit. Yeah, it's a halibut. Oh! <laughs> so I gotta slow down. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. Oh! There we go. Double limit. Double limit. The kit. Oh. I'll give him a measure. Seems like everyone wants to know exactly how long every fish is, so. Let's see. I don't think we got the triple 30, but it's pretty close. Probably like 20. Yeah, I think it's like 20. Here, let's see. Uh. Yeah, 27. That's good. That's pretty good. Cumulative. My uh, fish all added up was like 90 inches. We got 90 inches of halibut today. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up for today. Good quality day out here. All my camera batteries and everything are dead, but we already got our two limits, so we are very happy and we're heading in here. The weather actually shaped up to be really nice. I mean, we were expecting to try and get off the water by nine due to the wind and everything else. Um, but it's 12 o'clock now and we could probably keep fishing if we wanted to. Uh, the weatherman luckily was wrong today, so um, really grateful for that. But anyways, good quality day out here. I'm gonna make a point to update the links in my description for all the gear that I'm using. So like any of the kayak gear or any of the fishing gear, um, I always leave a link in the description, but um, 
I'm gonna admit I've been a little outdated on that. So I'm gonna make a point to update it all in this video. So if you have any questions or wanna get any of the gear that I use in this video, feel free to check them out in the description. Um, if you have any questions on top of that, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I always try my best to answer as many questions as I can. But anyways, good day out on the water. We got our six fish and we're heading in early, get home and beat the traffic. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.